So till now we understood either you can index manually by triggering your servlet or that index can be happen at a scheduled time. But in real time, you can create pages at any time and you can publish those pages to a publish. But until even you manually trigger or the schedule time came, your published page will not index in your solar. So what is the solution? What you can do, you can write a event handler, which actually pick your replication event means publish and unpublish event. Based on that, you can either index or delete that data for a particular page. So we'll see that in this tutorial. So that's my event handler. This is old story. I have already explained as part of AM developer series. So this is my event handler. I'm writing this event handler, implementing event handler. And here I'm saying what is my topic. So it will pick my replication topic because this belongs to replication dot event topic. I got all the objects, whatever I need means the service objects using reference. This is the method you should have handle event and it will have the event here you can get this whether it's a replication means whether it's an activation publish or it's a unpublish right right same way i got this now i got the page path from this replication event and the event dot get page this one right you got the page which actually you either activated published or unpublished i got my resources over using that resource resolver i got the object of the solar search helper i used i created this object using second constructor where i'm passing this page path solar service manager and resource resolver now i wrote two different methods now i got this service obviously here using reference solar service one is index page, another one is delete page based on either publish or unpublish. If you check in index page, what I'm doing, I got the old story. I got this using this OSGI configuration. I got the endpoints. I got this client. I created the object here. Okay. And if you see, I pass a page detail object here. So if you go back and check from where this page detail is coming page service dot get page detail this is the same method but right now it, it instead of giving me list it is giving me a single object of this class let me show you that as well here using path i got the page and from that page i'm getting all the details means title description this one and i created the object of this page detail class right simple old story and here index page, I'm just indexing one page. So what will happen now? It will index only one page, means one document, right? One document means one page document. So this is the old story, which I have already explained in add document page, right? This created doc here, uh, added to solar, got the collection name here, already explained how to do that and the doc and it is committed, right? All right, this will, so what happened when you activate this data will index in your solar, same way, if I unpublish or deactivate page, so this delete page will execute. And if you see here, I'm passing the same object means solar search helper object, which I created here and the same get page detail means it will give me a, again, the page of means the, this object of this page detail class. So if you come here, why this is important, why deleting? So the same story, which I already explained, important part is the ID. So when you delete something from solar it will it should identify which document it should delete so our primary field is id so how we are creating id while index same way we'll get id while deleting it so i got this id from the same method which we used while indexing once we have this page id so what did i say solar client delete by id okay delete by id from where from this collection we got it from this configurations, right? If you see, we got this from here. We had this object, we got this client and collection name and what, which document, which has page ID of this, right? And we committed this commit. So it will execute and it will delete on unpublish. So if you check and go to the solar, 
last document is replication text right test replication name is this and id is this so what i'll do i'll come on the same page this is my replication test and i unpublish this right let me unpublish this right away okay just unpublish so as soon as this unpublish this document should be deleted because my this event handler will trigger the delete uh, page here let me search this again let me refresh this and i should have 26 document now if i search all right it should have 26 and my last document you see this page has been deleted now i don't have replication text for now okay the same thing let me create now if you see here it's a 26 right now so let me publish this page again okay if i publish quick publish so this document should be indexed in my solar so if i publish now and let me refresh this again see the 27 document has come now and last document should be again this one so what happened in that case when your content authors are creating pages and publishing pages your in data should be indexed instantly it will not wait either for manual trigger or at a scheduler so it will index in your solar whether it's an index or delete whatever the operation is so these were the main operation while writing a integration to solar you could write if you feel there's another option you can think of let me know and i'll try to cover now we'll see the queries in more detail in coming tutorials how you can make queries with paging generation and other operations I hope you understood these were the simple operations these whole concepts means how you can write scheduler and servlets and everything I have already explained as part of developer series right but I explain these again so that you can understand scenario how you can use those uh, concepts in your real real world scenarios or your real world work if you have any question add your comment thank you